Protests this week outside the Capitol turned violent and we're getting a lot of comments from you about what happened and what could have been improved. Tonight we are taking your questions to the legal experts. Joining us now is Sally Frank, a Drake University professor. And Sally, thanks for being here. Thank you. You specialize in civil rights and have even hosted a seminar about protesters' rights. From the videos that you've seen at the Capitol protests yesterday, was there anything that jumped out about you? Obviously, we've seen strong opinions, uh, pro-protester, pro-police. Um, as you look at it objectively, what, what hits your eye when you see the confrontation that unfolded on the Capitol lawn yesterday? The police provoked a, a confrontation. They went into a crowd of people to grab individuals that they believe may have been involved in damaging a police car earlier. Uh, that's not the safest or best way of keeping a crowd calm. They uh, acted very forcibly, used chemical weapons that are banned in war against the protesters and way overcharged them. Now, or, uh, what was what occurred? Okay, as as I understand it, they they, they had the pictures of the people that were suspects uh, in last month's um, vandalism that happened downtown. They took those pictures. As I understand it, they went inside where the protesters were just peacefully assembled inside the Capitol building. Went in there with the pictures of people that they had looked for and had I guess asked to turn themselves in. And then when they identified, they felt they positively identified those people they came up uh, to arrest them. You feel that that was the wrong thing to do inside the Capitol when they saw somebody that was a suspect in a, in a property crime? Well, my understanding is all of the people they were um, addressing were not the downtown broken windows, but the high V, the single car, police car. And uh, it seems odd and unlikely that that many people were involved in vandalizing or damaging one police car. Uh, they also, the people that they had actually had contact with and asked to turn themselves in did in fact turn themselves in. Several people in the last week had turned themselves in on those charges. These were pictures and they were trying to just find somebody who met the picture who happened to be at the Capitol that, um, and grabbed those people out from the middle of a crowd. In the post that the Des Moines Police Department made yesterday with the accompanying video of the confrontation there on the Capitol grounds, they said that um, during the course of the protests that have happened over the, the, the past uh, month or six weeks, that they have had um, rocks thrown at them when they've simply been in a, in, in a, in just in, in rank and file. They've had, um, uh, just occupying a space. Rocks thrown at them, bricks thrown at them, bottles of water, bottles they say had been, the water had been dumped out and urine had been put in them. Um, at that point, uh, according to the law, is should cops just, on t with the addition of the verbal abuse, um, are, should they just be standing there and taking that because that's their job? My understanding is those things happened only on the first few days, which are the same days where windows were broken. Mm -hmm. And uh, there, that has not occurred at any protests that I've seen, and I've been at a lot of them. So, mm -hmm. um, but hypo hypothetic, the hypothetical question, though, would that be a time for hypothetically somebody who throws things at a police officer can be arrested for threatening a police officer and for trying to injure a police officer, etc. What the police, but then for the police to attack the entire crowd in response to that is also inappropriate. Mm -hmm. okay. So in, somebody who's just standing there and somebody 10 feet away did something does not merit being the person just standing there getting chemical weapons fired at them. I know everyone can agree that we hope we can go forward with less violence than we've seen uh, as the two sides um, work through this together. Uh, Sally Frank from Drake University, thanks so much for spending some time with us. Thank you.